What is up guys, it's Soul Bash. Welcome back to Mew Origin. Today, we're going to cover one of the events and that event is called Devil Square. Now that starts really soon. It's one of the places that you're gonna get a lot of experience from and I'm gonna show you basically the goal for that. And But before we do get into it, we've got some epic chests to open. We got a free one and then I do believe I've got another card to open it up as well. So let's see what we get out of this first one. A level four experience thing. So that's really cool. That helps out a lot. That's another way you can get experience is that, and that's going to be a good bit of experience because that is a level four one. Uh, so let's double click on that to take it out of the storage. And we've got one epic chest ticket right here. So let's go ahead and open it up, see if we can get something good. A level five experience. Now that's gonna be interesting to see the difference between these two. I don't think I've ever gotten a level five one. So let's grab it. All right, and let's go into our inventory and let's see exactly what it is going to give us. Uh, let's see if we can't find it here. Where are you? There you are. All right, the level four. Let's see what level four gives. Anywhere from 300,000 to 500,000 experience. I'm going to use it. And level five gives anywhere from 500,000 to a million. So that's pretty cool. Those are really useful, helping me level up. Now, they did send out the rewards for the pre registration. So make sure you get this uh, and we're going to max this out acquired 20,000. So at nine of these, I'm going to be able to get a pretty good bit of them. Now you can only use 10 of these a day. So let's go ahead and use them all and we'll go ahead and clear inventory out while we're waiting for the event to start. And once it does, we will jump right into it guys. All right. The event is up. We've got a minute and 30 seconds left to get into it. When it starts out, it has you have two minutes to register for it. All you do is click on it. You gotta have a Devil Square ticket. If you don't, you have to create one. I'll show you how to do that after, but this is Devil Square. Now, contrary to the title of it, you're not in a square, you're in a ginormous circle. And as you can see, there's 10 participants in here now. At the uh, middle left of the screen says Dungeon Information. It's 10 people. Now, I believe 10 people is the max amount of people that are able to come into one. If it fills up, it then starts another one. But if you get really lucky and the less people that are in here, the better, because the focus of this is to kill as much stuff as possible. Every time you kill something, you get points. Based off of your points, that's how much experience you're gonna get. Also, at the end of this, I believe it uh, lasts 10 minutes long. There's a boss that spawns and then if you uh, kill the boss, if you get the killing blow on it, you obviously are gonna get the loot from it. Uh, very seldom have I ever gotten the kill shot on it. It's really hard to do, especially with this many people in here. So we got just 20 seconds or so left and then we're gonna start it and I'm gonna show you how Devil Square works. All right, here we go, starting now. All right, what happens is you have different waves. You have six waves. Mobs are gonna spawn. Everybody is concentrated in the middle but I wanna to try to get away from the middle because you'll be able to collect stuff and what we're looking to do is be able to get the kill shots on stuff. So we're away from the middle a little bit. We'll turn on auto right here. And basically what we're looking to do is get as many points. You see on the left side under the waves, it says my score. I just killed a couple of them. I'm not sure how much you get. It looks like 80 points, 60 points, 80, 60 to 80 points, depending on what you kill possibly. And like I said, it's based off of how much you kill. We're looking at a score of 1140 right now, but we do have a lot of people around me. So we're gonna jump over to this side. All right, there's not much over here and we're out of potions. So mid game, I'm just gonna pop in, buy some potions and bam, we're ready to go again. And here we go. Go ahead and take this stuff out. And there's not really a whole lot of stuff. We're looking for big conglomerations of mobs. I don't want one. I don't want two. I want a ginormous group of them to come on top of me. That way I can just sit there and AOE everything down. Now here comes the next wave. We're on wave five. All right, we got a couple here. Let's go ahead and drag these guys all together. We got four right here and let's go ahead and take these out. That should put us up around 15, 1600 maybe. And it looks like it is. We're at 15, 1600. Okay, 1620. That's just a single one here. Let's go down here. All right, there's a all right, big conglomeration. Let's pull them all together. All right, we got aggro now. And let's go ahead and take this stuff out. 
and you can either auto or you can manually do it i like manually doing because it watch uh if you watch their health now this is a huge wave of them right here if you watch their health i don't want to attack that over there so quit trying to make me do it all right here we go get in the middle of it turn on auto attack and let's see how much of it we can take out we're up to 2500 points right now and our goal is to get as many all right we've had another wave come out as well still a bunch of stuff in here it only looks like uh, dw's right up there above me i don't really see anybody else there might be one other right there it is so we got a pretty good met a bit up out of that we got probably the majority of those and let's see if we can't find another huge group of mobs now we're on wave three usually on these waves they start coming out here and they are so we're gonna get out away from people draw this stuff into me here we go and just start taking it out now we're up to almost 4,000 points which is not bad I think the highest I've gotten is maybe five or six thousand in this one but there's still three waves remaining and the boss on top of that uh, I do know if you kill the boss you get an extra gem I believe as well from the end results of it and I'll show you what I'm talking about you automatically get one gem from winning but if you do get the killing shot on one of the bosses uh, that's not enough mobs uh, let's come right over here there we go trying to get as much as I can in here that way I can kill them all at the same time because pretty much all of the skills that I use are AOE they kind of hit everything and a few more shots on this guy and he's done for and let's move around two waves remaining all right here comes those guys out now and let's see if we can't find a big big mob big mob we're looking for the big mob all right we got a lot of stuff starting to spawn right here so let's step right here try to take this stuff out does uh, dw is, looks like he's kind of staying in the same spot he's not roaming around ah oh, hell spider killed me i'm just gonna resurrect with full health i wasn't paying attention to my health so you can die in here from the mobs but you you can't get killed by anybody else nobody else can attack you uh we are taking a lot of damage but look at this mob right here this is a lot of stuff there's the boss he's already up no ways remaining so we're gonna stick right here and stay on the boss he starts out with 50 health bars and we've only got three minutes and 20 something seconds to finish him off but that should be enough once everybody realizes he is up and alive everybody will start congregate congregating and moving over towards here um, pretty much if I moved around a little bit since it looks like I do have aggro on him he is hitting me he should follow me pretty much everywhere I go so if I wanted to move down here to kill some of this stuff he's gonna follow all right so we're gonna turn manual on right here I'm gonna get some extra kills and extra points off of this stuff that's coming over to me and we're still gonna be doing damage looks like we did lose aggro but we are gonna turn around we're gonna stay kind of like right in this area because stuff seems to come from the bottom feeding I'm still able to kill stuff getting more points we're at 6500 points right now he's down to 30 life bars with two two minutes and 30 seconds left so we took out 20 life bars in what one minute so we're obviously going to be able to kill him no problem we should have at least about a minute left on the board when he does die and that time you have left you still are able to go kill stuff now you're going to get the reward before that but i do recommend you to stay in here and continue killing now one thing i did not do before i did this was i did not use an experience potion that is one thing i forgot to do but i do recommend you do this because as you can see i'm already getting what a thousand per kill right now so it's not too bad he's getting down to five bars everybody's concentrating on him let's go ahead and use some of these abilities i'm going to turn manual off to see if i can't get this last hit in and i don't know if we got it or not we did not because we're not able to pick stuff up looks like somebody else did now quick tip if you go down here there's usually a little congregation of mobs right here and this is probably the last place that everybody checks it's over with pretty much i mean the timer's still going we have no waves remaining all that's left is to just kill whatever's left and after a minute and 20 odd seconds is left it's going to kick me out so we're up to over 7,000 points in this one that's probably about the highest i've ever been in a double square we got one right here so we're just going to try to kill whatever we can whatever's left 
I want to get the kill shot on it. And we got one here. 7,100 still. So it doesn't look like we got a kill shot on that. These guys are coming over here using abilities when they're low health. And that's basically the object of this event. You know, try to get your kills in on them. All right, we got another one there. We're at uh, 7,190. And 44 seconds left. Is there anything left up that we can kill? I don't see anything else. So it looks like that is going to be it. Um, if you have any questions about this event, feel free to leave them in the comments below, guys. Uh, I am playing this. I'm not playing it as much. I am in the process of moving. We got a doubles key out of there. That's pretty cool. Uh, that'll help with the next time we have to do this because you do have to craft the items to come in here. I'll show you, like I said, what items you're going to need and how to do that. No mobs left up. And basically, once the timer is down, it's going to prompt you to get your experience and then it's going to kick you out. All right. So here's the timer. It's up. Here's the rewards. All right. I didn't get any gems from that because I didn't kill the boss. If you were to kill the boss, you would see an extra gem right there on that left empty box. Now you do have the options. You have two times experience for 30 diamonds and you have three times experience for 50 diamonds. Now I'm only getting 3,897,152 experience normal, but I can double it or I can triple it. And that's how you can get a lot more experience from this as well. I took the normal, so we're going to go back out and that's pretty much the end of that event. It'll come back up. See, I didn't accept it. So let's go ahead and accept that. we got 3,897,000 and some odd experience. And like I said, the crafting item, just hit your icon at the top left, go to craft. And for Devil Square, you're going to want to craft one of these. And for the other one that we're going to cover soon, which is the Blood Castle. I really want to harp on that one a lot because people obviously always do it wrong. They rush it too much and they don't farm. But these are the items you need. You need a Jewel of Chaos for that, Blood Bone. For Devil Square, the key that I picked up in there, I'm going to be able to use that. A Devil's Eye and, of course, your Jewel of Chaos. Logging in, you'll get this stuff every day. Um... But pretty much that's it for this, guys. That was Double Square. Like I said, if you have any questions about it, feel free to leave them in the comments below. As always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soul Bash. You guys have a nice day.